Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Husband TV. Today I'll be doing a review on YS wigs and they did send over um, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, like 27, 30 like mixed blonde honey colored wig. And you guys absolutely love when I do this, you know, these type of color wigs. And you always ask, do, the, do I, you know, color the wigs like that myself or if they come as is. And these wigs come as is. So it is a very, very, very um, gorgeous color wig. So all I had to do was just, you know, go ahead and bleach the knots. And I didn't have to do any plucking for this wig whatsoever. And because my mom goes crazy for this hair color, I decided to install of uh, this wig on her today now um i'm not sure what type of lace this is but whatever lace it is and i'm quite sure uh, all the details to this wig will be listed down below this lace like the quality of this lace was so freaking bomb like i don't know if it was hd or swiss lace i didn't really pay attention but i didn't even realize how raw the quality of this lace was until i was actually installing the wig and watching it melt away before my eyes so you guys should pretty much um you know love this tutorial it's just a very simple lace wig install no baby hair it's just a regular you know part down the middle um you know lace wig installation so of course you already know because she does have on makeup i did have to clean that hairline away especially wherever that lace is going to lay because if you do not do that, then your lace will not stick or will not hold very long because you have to, have to, have to remove all of that dirt, oil, and or makeup off that hairline in order for that wig to stick. So you could slightly see like the discoloration between the lace, um, where the lace is going to lay and where her makeup is now. But once you clean that hairline and you do apply all of your layers of that glue and today i did use the regular bold hold extreme um once i add all my layers i'm pulling it down into that glue uh, having her hold east side and i'm going to blow dry and comb that lace right on in and this is pretty much my same you know lace wig application process but um once i am done um you know combing this lace part on in i will go in with that bed head um, hairstyling holding spray and this is the extra strength bed head that I'm using it's not the regular one it's the one that's the extra strength I usually use the bed head masterpiece holding spray but this one is the extra hold so I did go ahead and spray that on that hairline as well and just blow drying and combing that lace on back so once I do cut off that extra lace I would just tack down um, the remaining pieces that is left and you know just get into um, just styling his hair down the center and you know melting the lace in and everything like that But as far as the quality of this lace as you can see as I'm cutting the lace away like it's literally disappearing into her skin um This might be HD's lace now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I Didn't really read but as I mentioned everything will be down in the description box, but this lace is so 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 nice like the quality was like top quality and that's another reason why we do not um we did not do baby hairs for this installation just to really show you like the naturalness of um the hairline itself and the quality of the lace like it was just too too cute and even the color of this lace wig was everything now because i did have to bleach the knots and i did let that uh, toning shampoo sit on the hair for a little bit i think it brightened up the color just a little bit more because i don't really think it was that light to how it is now because you know once you use that toning shampoo it does you know get rid of the brassiness and the yellow undertones and everything like that and supposed to make the color you know the color hair more vibrant so i did kind of see a difference in the hair color itself because of that purple shampoo but it made me love this wig color even more so i'm just going to continue um to cut away that extra lace tacking everything down that needs to be tacked down and then i will go ahead you know and tie that lace down so it can be super, super duper uh, melted into the skin.
So after tacking down all of that lace, I did kind of like pre-part um, the center part and everything like that. And once I got the part where I wanted to be, I'm just going to, um, you know, comb all of that hair back and then, you know, secure, secure it with a little rubber band so I can easily apply the melt belt. And I'm just taking that bad head um, extra strength, once again, an extra holding spray and then tying down that elastic band. And I'm just going to go in, you know, and flat iron the hair and everything like that. Um, in the meantime, between time, that way, you know, it just speeds up the process while I'm waiting for that lace to metal and just adding a little bit of that um, holding, not the holding spray, but that heat protectant oil and then just going in with my flat iron and pressing out that hair, also hot combing, you know, the top of the roots of that wig just to get everything super, super sleek and flat as possible. And you already know, like, the key to a super flat install is the brace that's underneath. Like, the brace is, like, the most important role in applying a wig. Like, those braids have to be nice and small in order to get a really nice flat wig installation. But, anywho, um, as I said, I would just be, you know, pressing out the hair in the meantime while I'm waiting for uh, that melt belt to do its job. You can either you know, kill about 10 minutes to 15 minutes like I am, or you can sit them underneath the dryer, or you can blow dry it yourself. It's all up to you and, you know, how you want to do things. But once I do get everything all pressed out and kill that time, I will go ahead and remove that elastic band. And, of course, we're not doing any baby hairs as mentioned, so I will just be you know, hot combing those roots out and just making sure everything is nice and neat, making sure the part is where it's supposed to be, nice and straight. Then I will go in with that concealer and, you know, that black spray and that concealer and just define the part. But this is a very, very simple, easy, quick lace wig application. So um, stay tuned for the fun, you know, the finishing look. And I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. And thank you guys for tuning in to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Can you move your fingers? 